Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, I'm working on this interesting in tech world from MIT in tech version B, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to pi. Then we have sine 2x times sine of 3x times sine of 5x times sine of 30x divided by sine of x times sine of 6x times sine of 10x times sine of 15x squared dx. So I listed some of the important tools we'll be using. And then it looks like this expression inside of the parentheses could be simplified using these tools. So let's rewrite this as now integral from 0 to infinity. Okay, then we have parentheses 2 times sine of 2x is this. So 2 times sine x times cosine x. Okay, that over now sine of x. Then that times sine of 3x is going to be sine of 3x. So sine of 3x, that divided by sine of 6x was this. So 2 times sine of 3x times cosine of 3x, that times sine of 5x. Divided this by sine of 10x is now 2 times sine of 5x times cosine of 5x. Lastly, sine of 30x is now 2 times sine of 15x times cosine of 15x. That divided by sine of 15x. And then we are squaring this, and we have dx. Okay, so time to cancel a lot of terms. So it looks like we can cancel this sine of x out, and then sine of 3x out, then sine of 5x out, and sine of 15x out. And then this two is canceled out with this two, and this two is canceled out with this two. So it looks like the numerator is cosine x times now cosine 15x. Then the denominator has to be cosine of 3x times cosine of 5x. So we are now working on integral from 0 to pi. Of your integrand has to be now cosine of x. Cosine of x now times cosine of 15x. That divided by your denominator has to be now cosine of, now then 3x. That times cosine of 5x. Of course, square this, then we have dx. And the integrand looks much simpler now. And we'll be using these two tools to work on your integrand. Okay, so now we need to talk about cosine of. First of all, let's talk about cosine of 3x over cosine of the x, and then flip it after. So we have the tool cosine of 3x is now 4 times cosine cube x minus 3 times cosine x. So using this. Okay, then um, 4 times cosine 3x and minus 3 times cosine of the x. So that is why if you divide this by cosine of dx, this is going to be the same as then 4 times cosine square x minus 3. 4 times cosine square x is now 2 times 2 times cosine square x. So rewriting this as now 2 times 2 times cosine square x and minus 3. And 2 times cosine square x, this is 1 plus cosine of 2x. So we can rewrite this as now 2 times parenthesis 1 plus cosine of 2x minus 3. So this whole thing is the same as 2 times cosine 2x. 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 1. So this is the 1. 2 times cosine of 2x minus 1 is now cosine 3x over cosine x. But we have cosine x over cosine 3x, so we can just flip it reciprocal. So that is why cosine of now x over cosine of 3x. This is then 1 over this 2 times cosine of 2x minus 1. Then we need to talk about cosine of 15x over cosine of 5x, right? So now let's talk about this cosine of 15x. Cosine of 15x is now 4 times cosine cube of 5x minus 
3 times cosine of 5x. And you're dividing this by cosine of 5x. So it looks like this right hand side has to be the same as 4 times cosine squared of 5x minus now 3. So do the same 4 times cosine squared of 5x. This has to be the same as 2 times 2 times cosine squared of 5x. So rewriting this as now 2 times 2 times cosine squared of 5x minus 3. And then knowing how 2 times cosine squared of 5x, this has to be the same as 1 plus cosine of 10x. So this is the same as 2 times 1 plus cosine of 2 times 5, that is 10x, closer parenthesis, minus 3. So this is the same as then the 2 times cosine of 10x. And then 2 minus 3, that is negative 1. So using all of this, the integral we are working on, it has to be now then the same as integral from 0 to pi. Okay, then your numerator has to be now 2 times cosine of now uh, 10x minus 1. That divided by 2 times cosine of 2x minus 1. Of course, we are squaring this. Then we have dx. Okay, then time to think about cosine of x in complex number. So knowing how cosine of now x, this is the same as e to the power of ix plus e to the power of negative ix over now 2. So that is why 2 times cosine of x is this numerator part, right? So that is why this 2 times cosine of now then 2x, this is going to be the same as e to the power of 2ix plus e to the power of negative 2ix. And then 2 times cosine of 10x. This is the same as e to the power of 10ix plus e to the power of negative 10ix. We'll be using this expression. Okay, so using those complex numbers, let's rewrite this 2 times cosine of now 10x minus 1 over 2 times cosine of 2x minus 1. Okay, then this is the same as then e to the power of now 10 ix now plus e to the power of negative 10 ix minus 1 divided by e to the power of 2 ix plus e to the power of negative 2 ix minus 1. Okay, we have an interesting substitution. Let me call this k as e to the power of 2 ix. Then we can rewrite everything as now then the k to the power of 5 plus 1 over k to the power of 5 minus 1. That now over k plus 1 over k minus 1. Okay, then it looks like this is the same as now that the k to the power of 10 minus k to the power of now 5 uh, plus 1. That over k squared minus k uh, plus 1. That times 1 over k to the power of 4. Okay, so let's rewrite this everything, right? So if you simplify this, it should be the same as k to the power of now 4 plus k cubed minus k and then minus 1 minus 1 over k. Then we have plus 1 over k cubed and then now plus 1 over k to the power of 4. Okay, so based on this, let's rewrite this integral as now integral from 0 to infinity. Make your parenthesis. Then we have e to the power of um, 8ix plus e to the power of 6ix and then minus e to the power of uh, 2ix minus 1 minus e to the power of um, negative 2ix. Okay, then plus e to the power of negative 6ix plus e to the power of negative 8ix. That divided by 2. And then you're squaring the whole thing. And we have dx. 
So if you rewrite this, it looks like we have integral, so we can pull this four out, right? So it's the same as four times integral from zero to infinity, and your inside has to be the same as, we should have only four terms. One of them is a cosine of 8x. Okay, then my plus cosine of now 6x, and minus cosine of 2x. And after this, we have minus 1 over now 2. Then we square, and then we have dx. Okay, so we don't want this fraction 1 over 2, so let's push this 4 back into your integral. So it is going to be the same as then integral from 0 to pi. Okay, then we have 2 times, let's make a bracket. So 2 times parenthesis, cosine of 8x plus cosine of 6x minus cosine of 2x. Then we have minus 1, and we have square. Close your bracket, and we have dx. And if you hypothetically square this parenthesis part, it has to be ugly. But it should be in the form of now integral from 0 to pi. And it has to be in the form of now 2 becomes now 4 times everything inside of your parenthesis square. And then minus 4 times of inside the part. And then negative 1 becomes positive 1. Close your bracket, and we have dx. But then again, but then again, this parenthesis part, it has to be 0. Because if you work on antiderivative of cosine, that becomes sine. And if you plug it in either 0 or pi to the x, it's all equal to 0. So that is why we don't have to worry about this parenthesis. It is going to be just a 0. And then 1 becomes just a pi. So that is why what we're working on has to be now pulling this pi outside. Pi plus 4 times, pull this 4 out, integral from 0 to pi of now everything. Cosine of 8x plus cosine of 6x minus cosine of now 2x. Entire thing square, and then we have dx. Okay. And if you work this out, it has to be pi plus 4 times integral from 0 to pi. And then if you square this parenthesis part, it has to be the same as now cosine uh, square of 8x plus cosine square of 6x, and then plus cosine square of now 2x. Then after this, it has to be plus 2 times parenthesis, like product of these two plus product of these two, and so on. But then again, this parenthesis eventually should be equal to just a zero. Because like I said, when you work on antiderivative of cosine, it becomes sine. And if you plug it in either zero or pi to it, it's all equal to zero. So whatever this parenthesis is, it should be turning out to be zero. Okay, and then we can close your parenthesis and put your dx. So what you really work on has to be now pi, plus 4 times integral from 0 to pi. Okay, then we should have now parenthesis. Let's rewrite this everything, right? So cosine square 8x. So we can rewrite this as cosine of now 16x plus 1 over now 2. Do the same for the other two terms. Plus cosine of now then 12x plus 1 over 2. Okay, then plus cosine of now 4x plus 1 over 2. Close your parenthesis, put the x. So we can separate this integral into three different integrals, but all those integral has the same value. For example, if you work on this integral part only. So for example, integral from 0 to pi of cosine of 16x plus 1 over now 2 dx. Okay, this would be the same as then uh, pulling 1 over 2 out, and let me make a bracket. An integral from 0 to pi of now cosine of 6x dx. Now plus integral from 0 to pi of 1 dx. And if you work this out, it has to be the same as just a pi over 2. And the other two integrals should have pi over 2. So that is why we have 3 of pi over 2. So that means this whole integral it is going to be now 3 times now pi over 2. So 3 pi over 2 has to be the value for this whole integral. 
So the answer for this question is going to be then the pi plus 4 times 3 pi over 2. That will give you 7 pi. So 7 pi is the answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting integral. So I'll be back more videos, more posts like this sometime soon.